Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial in the Cocos Code IDE series. In this part we're going to be generating a project. This tutorial assumes you have set up Cocos Code IDE on Mac or Windows, though we will be generating a project on the Mac. The process is essentially the same on Windows, so there's no point doing end of a video for that. So, what we're going to do, obviously, is open up Cocos Code IDE first, so Cocos Code IDE. And just let the ID load and then we'll show you how to generate a project. Okay, so first of all, let's show you how to generate a JavaScript project first. This assumes you have done the Cocos 2D JS JavaScript project as we showed in the past couple of tutorials. So you want to go to File, New, Cocos JavaScript Project. And actually, I'm going to show you another way because this assumes, or it was showing that because we've got the JavaScript section open, but let's just say we had this closed and the Lua one closed. So what you would do is File, New, Project. Then you would just go to Cocos Project, go into Cocos JavaScript Project. Well, now you name your project. I'm gonna leave it as it is, Cocos JS Game. Create project in Workspace. If you wanna put it somewhere else, you can, but I'm happy with the Workspace. Leave everything as default, click next, and now you can set its orientation. I'm gonna leave you as landscape, I'm happy with that. And now you can just set the title, and then for the desktop, you can set the so basically the resolution that we're running like on the Mac. And then you can add native code, which is really cool. So for Android package name and for iOS bundle identifier. So I'm gonna change this, I'm gonna put com sonar systems dot cocos. JS game and I just want the same thing for the iOS bundle identifier. This is really cool. These little things instead of having to do a little bit in terminal, then go into let's say an Android manifest file or into Xcode, you can just do it in the one ID and it's really simple. So now let's click finish. It's just gonna create our Cocos project. So we now have our Cocos project done. I'm not going to code anything, but as you can see, if we just double click like the main.js, we get the main.js code here. Obviously, we can go into res with the resolution files. Close this. And we also have obviously the code as well. And another really cool thing, something like a project.json, which is then automatically picked up by all text editors, you'll pick that up as well, which is, I mean, really, really cool. So now that's done. It's that simple. No terminal or command prompt uh, needed. It's just hassle-free to use a graphical user interface. So what we're going to do now is show you how to create a Lua project. So your file, just go to new project, Cocos Lua, Cocos Lua project. Again, this assumes you've set up Cocos 2DX because uh, that has the Lua part. Uh, we would cover that in the past couple of tutorials. Again, I'm going to leave this as default. You can change whatever you want. Generally, you'll probably just be dealing with these two. Next, I'm going to again just leave this as fine. And I'm going to not bother adding native codes. But again, if you are publishing to an app store, you will want to set these to well your game specific package name and bundle identifier so we can just click finish now so now we have our project done we have our resources folder we have our source folder so if we go to gameteam.lua we got all the lua code right here we go to main.lua we got obviously more lua code as well so yeah it is that simple to generate a Lua project as well. There's no terminal command prompt needed. It's hassle free. It's got a really cool graphical user interface that's easy to use. So, generating projects are ridiculously easy. Probably couldn't be any easier unless you had somebody do it for you. The next tutorial will cover running your project for Mac desktop. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.